And the Buddha compared the different parts of the path to a chariot. He made mindfulness the driver. Of course, we don't have many chariots around anymore, but you can think of the, the path in this case as being like an automobile. And if you have all the knowledge, it's like the automobile sitting there without a driver. It requires mindfulness to remind yourself, yes, this really needs to be put into practice. There's another analogy where the Buddha says it's like a farmer with a goad. In case you don't know a goad, in those days when you had buffaloes pulling the plow, you wanted to make sure the buffalo went straight in line with the furrow that you were trying to plow. And if it was heading off to the left, you would poke it in the left with this goad. It was a long stick with a sharp point. It was heading to the right, you would poke it on the right side to make it go straight. So mindfulness is the driver and also is the reminder that you want to go straight on the path. You don't want to go veering off to the left or the right, because to the left or the right is just forest, brush. You can easily get lost. But you have to keep reminding yourself, we live in a world where the Dharma has been taught, where there is a Buddha whose Dharma is still alive. And as he said, the, the true Dharma would disappear when there are versions of false Dharma, which we have plenty of these days. But by disappearing, it doesn't mean that it's not there. It's just that it's not as obvious as it was before. Back in the Buddhist days, it was obvious what he taught was the Dharma. What he, what he criticized was not. But the Dharma still is with us, so we take the care to find it. And we've got this opportunity to practice. It's not enough just to know what the Buddha said. You have to really put it into practice. That's what the reminder is. And you have to keep reminding yourself as you go into the world that this is a world where the Buddha has taught. You look around and it's hard to see sometimes. So many people act as if there were no Buddha in the world. They don't care. They've invented other religions, or they have no religion at all. But what do they do with their lives? They're just coming back, coming back, coming back, sometimes going up, sometimes going down. Whereas the Buddha said, there's a way out. There was a way out of all this meaningless cycling around, all these meaningless ups and downs. You can give meaning to your life through the practice. Everything else is just fruiting your time away. So think of this as a goad. Mindfulness is there to keep reminding you. The Buddha has taught. We know the Dharma. We have the opportunity to put it into practice. So don't let this opportunity go to waste.